you know, you don't need a special space to do this. Uh, making the case for making the classroom does not require a huge budget. It requires commitment. It requires convincing the school that, that to make time and place in the schedule for these sorts of activities. If you, if you have to do it after school, start after school. Because showing people how it works is the best way to make the case. They have to see it to, to make it real. It's hard to deny when you see kids working hard and coming up with amazing inventions, it's hard to say they're not really learning and this isn't really important. Um, and, and Makers the, is about a stance. It's about a stance about learning. And putting the stuff in a specialized room where the kids make a field trip every few weeks to touch the, the expensive equipment isn't what we're talking about. I'm, you know, this sort of subliminal message of, of invent to learn is to create classrooms where knowledge construction through the, the making of actual artifacts is, is commonplace at any, every grade level in every subject area. So um, there's lots of examples of this. This is a makerspace in New York City. Um, they have a whole room to do it, and that's great. Now this is just this is a lab used for other things. Those those are folding tables that that come off that come out when it's time to, to build robots, and they get put away when this room is used for other things. Um, this is a makerspace in a cardboard box. This is a teacher in Australia who has a, a dozen makey makey, some aluminum foil, some clip leads, and, and when his kids come to the library for a two hour block, two hours, that's important, that time that they have, they build amazing things with their makey makeys. This is also, what we're talking about is not just crafts. It's not just doing stuff because your hands are busy. It's about minds on and hands on. It's about making meaning and making sense of the world. That's the most important part about the maker movement. One of the exciting things about, about the emerging technologies and materials that are available here at Maker Fair um, is that for the first time ever, kids can make real things. They're not just making simulations or models of real things. And we want school to be based on learning real things and being able to apply them in the real world. And the teacher's role in this is crucial. We are not saying that kids should just wander around and discover things on their own. The teacher's role as part of the expertise that's available for the students and as part of the captain of the ship, you know, the, the, guide, the, the guiding light towards big ideas, towards academic and, and important scientific principles, that's the teacher's job. But giving kids space within that to make things of their, of, of their own choice and have agency over what they do is crucial. 